Well, let's get the latest on the COVID-19 pandemic. Since the outbreak of COVID-19 a year and a half ago, travel has become increasingly difficult and expensive for many passengers, especially those coming from Africa. High infection rates, slow vaccination programs and restrictions affecting red list countries have made traveling almost impossible for some. CGTN's Julie Shire takes a look at how difficult traveling has become recently. South Africans were the most restricted travelers in the world during the first quarter of 2021. But still today, South Africa remains on the red list for many countries. As you can see behind me, check in hills at Cape Town International Airport remain fairly empty. Before the pandemic, it was very freely. You could travel anywhere without worrying the day before. Now you have to do all the planning. It's a mission to travel. I think the price is a problem, and yes, it will affect many people. They will think twice before they travel, unfortunately. A little bit ostracized here in Cape Town because the rules for, 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 for sort of a red state is quite difficult, and it's hard to keep up with it because it changes on a daily basis. So all of us have pretty much just given up on traveling until all of this blows over. South Africa's vaccination program was slow to start, but as it picks up with over 12 million people vaccinated, with only 6 million of them having had the second dose, travel experts are asking for restrictions to be scrapped. I think more about travel restrictions that make sense a lot of the time, because sometimes they don't quite make sense and they're quite complex. And the difficulty is that from country to country, they, they differ. There's no sort of uniform restriction in place. Travel restrictions are difficult to understand and they are constantly changing. But the real question is, are they effective and do they prevent further spread of the virus? The consensus is that coronavirus is here to stay. The question is, what is the point? Unless you're going to an island that's never seen coronavirus, I don't think there's much point in this tightening these flight restrictions. I think it's silly administrative rules, to be quite honest. I can't see the... I can't see the big, bigger public health benefit. But there's some good news for those looking to travel soon, with more countries lifting restrictions for fully vaccinated South Africans. The fact that we are allowed to get vaccinated now is very positive. We are very excited, I think, especially the younger generation. And the fact that countries are now opening up for us, people who are vaccinated fully, to go over without necessarily having the test and without having to quarantine for a week, is definitely positive for us as travelers. We are always advocating as an industry that with vaccination rollouts that are taking place, that testing will become a thing of the past, that quarantine or isolation will become a thing of the past. Um, and that's, that's the hope that we have. COVID-19 will continue to impact travel for a long time to come. And it might only be possible for those who have been vaccinated or can afford tests. Julie Shara, CGTN, Cape Town, South Africa.